I'm not gonna show my pajamas, probably. Oh, uh, there's we'll one. <laughs> we just left. We're still in Michigan. We got a long ways to go in Michigan. But are you excited? I am. Does he look excited? <laughs> We'll update you. Here's my friend, who, by the way, brought a dead bird in the house last night, and now he smells like death. So, uh, it's gonna be a long ride. See you soon. We'll check in in a little while. I forgot something. There's our super sweet 90s camper bed there. It's following awfully close. It is following awfully close. <laughs> Makes me nervous when we, things tailgate me. We actually like it that way, don't we? Kind of want to kind of close. <laughs> so I think we're all packed. I don't think I forgot anything. Oh, except an onion. I an forgot onion. to pack an onion in the food, but I think we can probably yeah. work with that. I hope, I hope we can find an onion someplace <laughs> in Between, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, or New York. I hope there's onions somewhere. You've been to a fiber festival before. Me? Yeah, you. Yes. So, yeah, you, who do you think I'm talking to? I wasn't sure okay. if you were talking to the people, the people. Talking to the wonderful people. Is there anything at all that you like about it? Is there anything that you, like, look forward to seeing or doing? Um, the Yard Bowl art. Oh. Okay. I find that kind of interesting. Uh-huh. Uh, especially the wood-turned ones. Yeah. If, uh, um, if you're new here, he's turned a few bowls, so, yeah. oh gosh. Um, I like looking at the, the spinning wheels, because oh. at some point I will design one. So that is that it, pretty much? Yeah. Hanging out with you, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Alright. Look how pretty. I heard it was like peak, peak week uh, in New York. I would say we're like a little bit before peak week, wouldn't you? Maybe yeah, this coming we week. Couple, we got a couple weeks left. Yeah, but do you think maybe this coming week will be the peak? Because it turned so fast this year. Uh, yeah. Could be, I, I maybe one more after? I think it's probably gonna be in the 20s. October, oh, okay, so. October 20s. Okay, so two more weeks then. Uh, Here's stink face. Could they, could they ever face dog? It smells like a morgue. Dead face. It's awesome. I didn't know it until we got in the car. We'll take care of it in a little while. Stink bug. Buggies. Bubs. You're talking about me and I don't like it. Yeah, you stink. <laughs> We're 36 minutes from our first campground, so we're camping overnight in Erie, Pennsylvania, right? Yep. Are you tired of the camera yet? Well, the second time about on it. No. no. <laughs> I don't feel bad. He knows who he married. Who's the crazy one? <laughs> so, anyways, just updating you guys. Everything's good. We're safe. See you in a little while. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Pursue your head. Oh. We're halfway to Rhinebeck. And I thought I'd give you guys an update. I just spilled frozen peas all over my rug, but it's looking really cute still.
Then I had and recorded a little mini breakdown to which I got a response from all of you that I never ever expected. So thanks you guys. I appreciate you so much. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. John's making me coffee. It's a mess in here right now. Don't worry. It's raining today so I'll have time to clean up. Louis trying to get his blankie just right. And I'm going to read and answer comments today. Thank you all for all the comments and the messages. So, <laughs> gotta get that blankie just right. Okay, sorry New York for all the knitters clogging up your expressway. <laughs> we're just trying to get to the festival. Oh, we're like, we're less than six miles away. So I'm sure this is Rhinebeck caused. <laughs> See you guys there. This is why we waited and didn't come in the very beginning because I don't, if you've ever been here, you know the traffic is really, really, really crazy. And this is not gonna be hard to get into at all, and I'm pretty happy about it. Are you? Yeah. This wasn't bad, right? Yeah. Except, you guys, we had a stop on the bridge, and I'm a little bit scared of bridges. So John just held my hand and talked to me about what it would be like to canoe on that river 400 years ago, so. We have determined that it would be stinky. Probably a bit chilly. Oh, definitely chilly. So here's these guys helping. We're in. <clears throat> Look at this. Hello, Rhinebeck. Hello, Duchess County Fairgrounds. I'm getting super excited. Let's go look at some wool. Look at the smoke show coming at me. He just went and put his sweater in the car. The sun is beautiful. It's like a chilly breeze. So hard to know if you're gonna be too warm or not, but he needed to put a sweater in the car. Okay, do you mind being on YouTube? No. Okay. So this is, did you make it? Of course. Okay, so you made the alpaca ornament. Yeah, hold it up, that'd be good. And there's all on the diamond picture right by the way. Nice catch. This is called blue clay. Blue clay, yep. And the, the hat is called the chuyo. 
which is what the natives in Peru use okay. because of the altitude. It's a good, uh, so windy, so they had to get over the years. Right. In this case, I, they did the opening for the, yeah. the years, but they got it. Is that alpaca too? Everything is alpaca. But you, it's all okay. Made. Well, thank you so much. It's adorable. Thanks. Thanks. Is it video? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, we're back in the car. We just watched Kai kill the spinning competition. I think this might be my best day ever. Except when I married you. What are you doing? Alright. Trying to keep from <laughs> up the New York countryside. <laughs> I'm gonna have to boop that out. <laughs> so if you stopped me, thank you so much. And thank you guys for being on this journey. I'm still gonna do the journey home and then at the end I'm gonna do the giveaway. So it's not over, but actually the festival is over. Amazing, really amazing, for real, for me. What did you think, to be honest? Oh, that was fun. He had fun and we ate good food. I was pretty excited to meet Kai. John was pretty excited to meet Kai, yeah. So, and he killed that competition. We'll see you on the ride home, love you. Okay, so we're home. We are pretty much unloaded and unpacked, mostly. Yeah, 98%. 98%, that's not bad. Second load of laundry's going. Can you complain? I can't complain. It, we took two days to come home. We spent the night in, where were we? Ashtabula, Ohio. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I hope you're not disappointed. I got in the car afterwards and we were driving back to the campground and I was just like, what is the word? Ecstatic. I was ecstatic. I mean, I got to meet a whole bunch of you guys. There's pictures all over the place. There was pictures in the video. It was just amazing. There were a few people I didn't take pictures with and I regret that. I just ran into so many of you guys. It was amazing. That filled my heart. Honestly, that sounds so cheesy, but it's true. And um, I appreciate it, every single one of you, even if I forgot to take a picture. It's so easy to get there and like get overwhelmed and your brain starts going in a hundred different directions. Is it like that for you or is it only like that for people who are thinking about like the spinning and the... I don't know, it was cool. But I mean, you don't start getting all... No. Okay. I think I was drunk on the wolf fumes, let's be honest. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got and then I'm gonna go actually film picking the winners afterwards, but I will be showing you the prize. So stick around so you can see who won. The prize is for sharing different posts and videos on social media. So I'm gonna go pick winners. We have a prize in here that we bought at Rhinebeck and I think that 
every time I go to a festival from now on, I'm going to do a prize because I really did wish I could take you all with me. I kind of did in the camera, but not really. I think I'll do that every time. And then John's business donated to gift cards, so I will be able to give those away also. Ooh, and because I couldn't take you guys all with me, I made a discount code for the shop, which is now expired, so I'm not trying to give it out again because it's expired, but I thought you could use it on gift cards and then I found out, I set it to be all products and then I found out that they don't allow that. So I am really sorry if you tried. Um, I wish I could make it up to you. I don't really know how, but there will be another sale probably the first week in December. I need some time to get some things into the shop because you know, and there will be Christmas towels included in that sale. So. Get ready, because I know some of you guys are waiting for the Christmas towels. It was just super fun and amazing. I've thanked John like a hundred times because I could not have done this. I could have done it by myself, but like it's so much nicer for me to have Luther with too and have him with me too. It was just so much nicer this way. So it was fun. you had fun? It was fun. What do you what was the best part? Like what was the highlight for you? I enjoy people watching and it was a fairly target-rich environment. It was. I enjoyed seeing you light up when you met your, your fiber tribe out there, mm -hmm. the people of your fiber tribe. Uh -huh. Speaking of the fiber tribe, I would like to put this out there. I wanna thank you all for supporting here, for your outpouring of support. Um, as her husband, I hate to see her feel like she's been beat up or attacked or whatever and also as her husband when I tell her you know to ignore it they don't mean anything blah 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 um, <clears throat> it means a whole lot more coming from all of you people and I can't tell you how much I appreciate that because you turned her entire mood around Aww. and that's true really helped close out the trip Strong. Which was beautiful. The trip was beautiful. I mean, everything about that area is beautiful. We just had a great time, didn't we? We did. But I met a bunch of you and it was amazing. And it was just so great. I'm gonna show you what I got. For myself, I got one of their hoodies. By the time we made it to the merch tent, they didn't have tote bags, which is what I was hoping to get. Um, they were out of a couple things, right? Tote bags and t-shirts? T-shirts maybe. Something. But they had a lot of shirts, different, like all kinds of shirts. Um, but I got a hoodie and uh, I actually think the logo's kind of cute. I know like mixed, fe people have mixed feelings this year. I get it, but I think it's kind of cute. Looks like a little flower. And then for us to remember our trip, I got this adorable, alpaca Christmas tree ornament. I just figured, last time I was at Rhinebeck, I bought a Christmas tree ornament of a little sheep and every time I take it out, I think about that trip. And so I thought if I bought us a little ornament and you saw the interview in the video of the man who sold it to us, um, I just thought it would help us remember our trip every time we open it up. It's always fun, you know? And then here's the prize that we're about to pick a winner for. Um, I didn't want to get something that you need to spin. And um, you know, we have weavers, we have knitters, crocheters, all that stuff. And I figured even weavers can use a yarn bowl. So this, I'll do the same thing. I'll superimpose some video. Um, this is the yarn bowl. It is made by Polly Studio Ceramics. I guess she streams her ceramic stuff on Twitch. So I got her business card. I'll put her information below. And this is where they use the like electrical impulses to burn um, a pattern into the glaze. <laughs> the glaze. <laughs> so I just thought it was super cool. She had a whole bunch of different ones and 
I kind of considered buying myself one because I do have like a small yarn bowl collection and some of them had all different colors on the inside. But they were really just really cool. She had a ton of cool stuff. So this is the prize, whoever is going to win in the next little segment. I will send it out of the country if it's an out of the country winner as long as the USPS will let me send to that country. Thank you for sharing, celebrating 1 million views with me. Thank you for, I guess, dealing with my emotional outburst. I feel a little embarrassed about it, but at the same time, it's real, it happened. And I don't wanna delete it. I just really wanna be truthful and real with you guys. So I'm leaving it. And I appreciate you and everything John said is totally true. Um, I'm just really grateful. Thank you. And you guys are the best, honestly. So let's go pick winners. Right? I'm trying to think. There's a toast to the fiber tribe. <laughs> had a long day. <laughs> like, we have had a long day. And Kai, you are a rock star. You're totally. You we're a rock star. Total rock star. Okay, we're gonna use random number generator to pick winners. I'm gonna first do the two gift cards and then I will do the bowls. Okay, the first winner is Michelle Belna. You win a gift card. Uh, the next one is Irini Alexandridi. You win a gift card. Uh, Deb, Deb, you win the yarn bowl. Okay, so if you want a gift card, I just, need your email so email me at fiberlovediary at gmail.com and no spaces no caps nothing and i will send you your digital it's actually a digital code to use uh, in the shop and then deb send me your snail mail and i will send you your bowl i appreciate you guys i love you and i hope next year you can all be there with me okay <laughs> see you soon bye